What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, yes, crazy. Back here with another video today, man. And as you can see by the title, we're making a Hakeem Olajuwon center build. Now I know what y'all like. Hakeem Olajuwon, he do all this, he do all that. Yeah, man, we're being different on this channel. I'm not gonna lie. I'ma just be posting build videos till the real game come out because it ain't nothing else to really do. But it is what it is, you dig? So to start off this I can build, you're gonna make him a center. And then you wanna go down to the ninth pie chart to the one that's all the way that has mostly green, a little bit of green, like no this one right here, yeah. This one right here. Gotta love? No. What which one is hold on? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This one, uh -huh. this one, that that one that looked funny, that little new funny one. You did, yeah, I was right. So it's this one. So you are gonna pick the ninth pie chart, this one right here. And so what you gonna do with this thing? You wanna go ahead and give him the third physical one, so he gets the most strength. Don't worry about speed and all that, cause it's not gonna really be a useful build for the three. But if you wanna be dominant, you can still be dominant on the threes too, really. But hey, that's just my opinion. So when you wanna make this build, you gonna put. Your close shot at 66. You're gonna put your driving layer, max that out all the way to 56. You're gonna max your driving contact out to 53. Just max that out. Now, you don't worry about the rest of that. Now, for the mid range, you wanna get that at that little 71. Bam, right there. Get that three pointer dead at that 70, because that's all you really need. You need a low, decent, to high three to really be able to hit. So then you're gonna hit that free throw to that at 80. You'll see why I'm putting it like this anyway. So, see, right now you got 12 finishing. Now, watch, you're gonna hit the post fade because y'all know I came was known for post fading because he was a post player. So, you're gonna match that all the way to 27. You're gonna get 22 shooting. Then, you're gonna come down to the pass accuracy for the playmaker side because he was always had Hall of Fame dream shake because he would shake him in the post. That's what he's known for. So, you will go ahead and max that out all the way to 70. Max the ball handling out to 40. Playmaking, and that gives you enough to really do what Hakeem does on the court since it's gonna be a similar build like him. Now, for the interior, you want to get this at 71. Perimeter, match that out at 49. Without a quickness, match that out at 48. You match that all the way out. Still, don't touch that steel because you ain't really do all that. But match that block out to 65. You be good for right there. No. Defensive rebound with a 78. Hit the offensive rebound with a 65. And hit this with a 74. And that's your build. So you get one finishing, 22 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 8 defensive rebounding. Now you can do some damage with this build if you know how to use it. If you try to play with Akin. So I made my play, I made the fine because I came with the build. And I love the height the way it is because it really don't need no height difference, really. Gonna leave the weight the way it is, but if you change the weight, it, it just it don't look good. It might boost your speed, but you the shrimp for that. Shrimp for that. But if you wanna do that, you do that. It's personal preference for that. Now me, I wouldn't. Hmm, hmm, I'm not gonna say that. So if I did do this, I wouldn't make this with it all the way low. So I would try to give him like just 60 speed. I would do it like this, 242. Cause it would work out better. I mean, it boosts up ladder quickness, perimeter defense, but your interior defense go down by two. But your driving don't go by one, even though know, it's high. And your driving leg go by one, that's high too. But now for the wingspan, you really don't want to touch it. Cause you max it out, you get a 67.3. And that's not really good, but it makes your defense better. But then you make your arms all the way short. Then you get a plus two on your ball handling. Then you get a 73 three pointer and a 74. .3. 89 post fake, but we don't know how this gonna go. So with me, I will leave it default. So then you will do all this, and then you have between the post scoring and a sharp shooting bag. Now Hakeem, really this is personal preference too, but Hakeem with two, knowing 2K, I would try to post score because there's it's different for it every year. Now you see it says inside out player. I don't know why they label it that, but. Y'all know I can't, y'all know I can't get down. But so now this is the bad that I would give him. But I'm 
not sure on 2K21 current gen, but y'all see, because we don't know how the game works, and I'm going to say this, because we don't know how the game works, because goodness, people, I swear, you did say that, yes, I did, you just didn't hear, now for this, I would get from bronze drop stepper, wish I could have gave him more finishing for it to work out, but, man, man, just the way it is sometimes, so I would give him bronze drop stepper, the shooting, Hall of Fame Dead Eye, Hall of Fame Random Stinger, Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hall of Fame Hot Zone, if you got it, then you would get some Pick and Popper, but people don't really use Pick and Popper, though. if you don't want to use Pick and Popper, you could put it on Hot Start, and then put it on Bronze Go, on Specialist, or run it like this, or you could run it Silver catch and shoot, silver point of specials, and silver high star. And the only reason I recommend putting your badges on silver because sometimes silver badges work more than Hall of Fame. But this would be the way I would build them. This is personal preference too. So go Hall of Fame. No, go quick for wait. What I can't I go to Hall of Fame. Alright. Anyway, I will go go quick first step. Gold postman technician, gold unluckable. What else would I give him? Get that man a dream shape. Not tight handles, not brake starter. Hmm. That's how I get. I can't floor general. Bail out. Oh no, brake starter. This is how I would give him gold unpluckable postman technician. Quick first step. Floor general. Break starter, dream shake, and bell. But this is so far what, is what I would do for him. Not even his personal preference. But then I would give him gold clamps because everybody needs gold clamps. I'm not doing none of that. Or you could take the gold clamps off, put on intimidator, form, post move lockdown because somebody might go in the post. Run protect the wrong bones. You bound to chase the wrong goal. So put that on bones, put that, put that, oh no, 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 moving truck on silver, turn that down, put that gold, put this, silver, silver, moving truck, silver, intimidated, silver, rim protector, cause you could get rebounds, they won't be nothing to do, nothing with you in the post, or you could take that down, put that right there, but it's personal preference, but I would run it like this too. Just so you won't get bullied in any other way, or like this. But it's a personal preference. But anyway, I would run it like this. And for this, this would be your Hakeem the Dream Elijah Wan. Take you in the post. Can't stop me. Dream shake. Guard me in the post all day. Elijah Wan. Now, if y'all want some more build videos, don't worry about it. They coming. Try to upload daily, but. This is it for the video right now. So, y'all know what I'm going to say. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we out.